What up, collective? Welcome to Starseed Direct. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome to The Edge, baby. For all my A1 Day Ones, thank you so much for your continual support. And welcome new subscribers. We're going to go ahead and get right into this read. All right. We're starting off with the travel card. Long distance communication will open up your life. Exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. All right, so travel is indicated. Perhaps you're planning a trip or you are desiring to take a trip or you may be getting communication in the very near future that you are being invited on a trip, okay? This is this could be an opportunity or perhaps you're traveling for opportunities. Take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? I could be talking about you. I could be talking about the energy that you're dealing with or... Energy is fluid. Time is fluid. Okay, so this may resonate now. This may resonate any other time. Already blessed the decks. A petition to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to please protect my energy as I divinate this message. Protect the Holy Spirit. All right. You have... Hold your vision. We're going to read whatever falls out. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. So this may be speaking of someone who literally is a Pisces, has Pisces placements, or something significant about Pisces season. You could also just be extremely intuitive. Okay. Hmm. Have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent. Okay, nature may also be significant. You may hear some light snoring in the background. Okay, I'm getting a strong sense of relaxation. Is on the horizon for some. The moon. You could be dealing with a Pisces and or Cancer. Escape from the black cloud that surrounds you, then you will see your own light as radiant as the full moon. So something significant about the moon cycle. You have a lot of moon coming out here. Something may be revealed to you in the near future about either an opportunity to travel. Okay. This may involve career. This may involve leisure or both. I am a spirit having a human experience and I'm here to get closer to love. Absolutely. Okay, so there's very strong overshadowing of intuition playing a role here. You could have had a vision for something. Maybe you had a dream or some kind of idea or trajectory is what I'm hearing. Tra trajectory. Okay. Let's get into the tarot now. See what we can get on this. Mm. Seven of Swords. Now, traditionally, this can be read as deception, theft, or something persuasive, but not so much in a positive light. Okay? This could be something also with the type of cards that's coming out with it that is something that is going to be offered or planned in secret. Mm -hmm. We could be dealing with Ace of Swords, the truth here. You got a lot of water, you have a lot of air. So you could be either of those signs or you could be dealing with those signs. You're getting clarity about something that happened. Queen of Swords. This could be, whoa, confirmation. Investigator energy. Someone could be traveling to calmer waters here. 
or relocating. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Someone's on the move here. Absolutely. And they're moving in stealth mode. This is a secret move. Or you're letting your intuition follow you. You're letting your intuition follow you. I meant lead you. You could be getting followed, whoever this is. You could be planning something in secret, but someone is right on your heels, watching your every move, quite possibly. Or someone is watching you plan something. Six of Cups. This is soulmate energy. This could also be sibling energy. This is something in regards to a soulmate connection. Three of Cups. Hmm. This could be an invitation to some kind of celebration. That you were left out of before. Someone may be making arrangements or plans to go somewhere. And they don't intend on inviting you. They possibly could be inviting someone else as their plus one. For whoever this resonates with. I have no clue. What is the Five of Pentacles, Holy Spirit? What is the Five of Pentacles? Someone purposely didn't say something to you about whatever this is because they were jealous or they feel defeated that they were left out of some kind of plan here or invitation. Someone's feeling defeated because they were left out of some kind of plan or invitation to something. Hmm. Someone's curious if this is going to make you feel burdened or someone is curious if this burdens you, this news. Hmm. Someone may have an offer for you, but they're stressed about making this offer. Mm-hmm. So I, for some of you, depending on which side you're on, I don't even think you're expecting this offer, right? You're not even expecting this offer. This person possibly had plans on inviting someone else, but secretly they're planning on inviting you and you don't know this knight of cups whoever this is they're burdened about making this offer yeah they're definitely up in their head <laughs> they may actually be emotional but <laughs> They're up in their head about offering this cup here. Because they could be married to this Queen of Swords. Mm. Somebody is about to possibly try to sneak and go do something with someone else. And their partner is going to catch them. Or this may have already happened. Ace of Cups again. This may have already happened. Someone may want to give it another try, try to work on it for the family. But someone is viewing someone as happily single, okay? Also extremely brave, possibly flirtatious, okay? They realize now that you're moving forward or you're letting something go, okay? And perhaps someone tried to keep up an illusion here that something was still here, but it isn't with the world card rounding out the energy. Hmm. Something about travel.
more travel energy. The Odyssey, take in the beauty of country lands and botany. Explore the wonder like a gypsy traveler's odyssey. Somebody is observing your moves right now. You could be getting inspired on this trip. Someone may want your forgiveness and start over in a situation. A ritual cleansing of pain and lies. Arise and awaken. See a new sunrise. Listen to the notes of your intuition, right? Someone possibly thought one thing was happening and something else is happening. It's like you avoided some kind of situation that literally was designed to burden you by trusting your intuition. Palmistry may be significant. So your hands or maybe even your fingerprints. I don't know what this is about. Somebody's investigating something. They could be trying to get your fingerprints on something. Now that's interesting. They're trying to get evidence of something. But whatever this is that they were working on backfired because you're healing yourself. What is the star? Oh, because of who you are? You have some kind of authority here. Even if you don't, you command a presence. Your energy commands a presence that when you speak, people listen. Okay? Now, whether they take your advice or not is another thing. But um, you could be a motivational speaker or you could be a consultant or some kind of career that... Um, allows you to connect with people, Aquarius energy, which represents the 11th house. You also have a lot of twos on the board here. Yes, this has something to do with status, reputation, or how people view you, okay? There's some dynamic about what you say or how you carry yourself that is admirable. Someone is definitely... This could be a government entity uh, or there's someone that is investigating you or looking into you further. It could be family, doesn't have to be. This could be if you're for a future opportunity collective. No pressure. Stay focused. 